Hello and welcome. My name is Fern and we are here in Sulani about to do a build tour of one of my, well, not my latest builds. It's kind of an older build that I've updated, but it's one of my favorites that I've ever made. So I actually, um, in one of my gameplays, I've got like my self sim and stuff. This is the house that she like had her dream house and then eventually moved into when she had enough money. So it's exciting and I'm so excited to get to share it with you. So, I mean, look at this location first. This is, this is heaven. This is beautiful. Um, yeah, let's, ooh, let's move really, really fast. <laughs> um, and we'll come in here. So this is, I don't, you could probably guess, this is the front door. It's all, everything's all really breezy and open and everything on this one. It's really lovely. Ooh, we're very zoomed in. So this, oh, we're also very tall. So this is the front entryway. You've got a couple of little seats that you can sit down and, you know, take your shoes off, grab an umbrella. Um, there's lots of stuff down that way, but we're going to start by going this way and then we'll kind of, it all loops around and it's very like interconnected and one with each other. So we're going to, we'll get there. <laughs> so in through the store to start off with, it's a bathroom starting with a bang. <laughs> it's just a simple guest bar bathroom. Got a shower, got a toilet, mirror and a sink. All you really need. <laughs> and then in here we get into one thing we don't need it. Uh, so this room's for, you know, plant lover, musician, just, I don't know, I feel like maybe this would be my bedroom. <laughs> and yeah, so that's really lovely, guitar in the corner, because it wouldn't fit anywhere else. <laughs> and then through this room, we've got the photography room. So on the walls, it's got all examples of, you know, their photography and what they've done. It's a little more bare bones because this person, you know, loves to get out and about more so than spending time in their room like the musician would. And so, yeah, and they've got, you know, maybe some books on photography. And then, of course, they've got every camera apart from the really basic camera because I figured they'd get the good stuff. And so that's the... The blue room, photography room, whatever you want to call it. And then out here, you get a lovely mirror. So as you're walking down, you get the beautiful courtyard on both sides of you. I mean, how pretty. Oh, we're not even in motion. There we go. How pretty is that court? Oh, there we go. Clip through the glass for you and everything. How pretty is that courtyard? And take it in because we're turning around. <laughs> um, through this door on the left, we have a slightly bigger more of a family bathroom. So it's got the bath for if you've got young kids, it's got another shower, all the basics, toilet over there. This room through here is what I generally consider the guest bedroom. I don't know why, it just feels like a guest bedroom to me, even though the location of it's maybe not the bestest for a guest bedroom, but eh, maybe that is me. It's got a lovely place to sit, Nice big bed, another place to sit. You can't have too many places to sit. And then, yeah, it's just, it's just very lovely. It's not as lived in, but as I said, I thought of this as the um, guest bedroom from the start. So, and then through this, oh, no, we're getting a sneaky peek. No, stop it. <laughs> through this bit, door is the main bedroom. So this, this room has kind of got it, got it all. It's got a window over there with some curtains because you probably would want some privacy in here. Lovely big rug, little TV, nice little sitting area with some sparkling water, maybe some sparkling wine later on. <laughs> a nice mirror, pictures, and then through this door, once we get there, total, 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 a lovely ensuite with a nice bath near the window. His and hers sinks, because who wants to share sinks, honestly? And then tucked around here is a toilet and a shower. And that is the bedrooms. Now, the master bedroom has the, oh, sorry, the added bonus of having this little doorway here that leads out to the courtyard. So we've got this lovely courtyard. I'm just going to duck down to an appropriate height um, with some lovely fountains, lots of foliage and everything going on in here and as I said like that's a door that's a door and that's a door so you
home, if you will. Um, that door over there goes into the kitchen area. We're going to be there in just a second. We're just going to have a look at the outside because the outside I'm really, really excited about. So we've got a pool, lovely pool, some nice bubbles coming up out of it. Sorry. Um, um, yeah, so we've got a lovely pool, nice relaxing area, but over here is my and then rinse the pool water off you before you go back inside and get dressed or you know even if you're coming from the beach because the beach is like right there so yeah it's all really lovely you can get all thingy and I mean how nice is this just surrounded by nature that's it's the dream and yeah so the beach is literally that way I can't remember yes there is a direct path to the beach from here so it's lovely um and then over here we've got the relaxing lounges for relaxing and I mean just oop, look at that how amazing would that be we're a little low look at that it's so lovely I love it <laughs> um, and the wrong button over here we've got the um, food cooking pit thing that came with island living I completely forget what it's called I'm really sorry but that's over here a nice couple of places to sit so you can hang out while you're cooking your fish and or whatever you want to cook and then we've got some swings because you know we had to look at this place do you not want to sit here and swing like oh wrong button Whee! Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what it'd be like if you were a sim on the swing <laughs> and then oh i think we're late for work oh well Oh, a plane! Hello! Hi, plane! Okay, bye, plane. Okay, and then, so we've got this little bridge here over the, so this is a fountain, and then it goes into a pool, and this is a little wooden bridge, which I think is a lovely little touch. It kind of makes all of this more about this little courtyard water side stuff even more. And then if we go through this door opposite where we came out of from the main bedroom, this is the kitchen. It's a lovely big open kitchen. I love these windows with just like the big open like flap. You'll notice there's no, uh, there's a couple of window dressings in the master bedroom because they don't have as many of these windows, but everywhere else, these windows, there's no window dressings because they, you know, they fold down. So if you didn't want them open or you didn't want people to see and you just shut the shutter. So but I think it gives it a really nice, open, kind of chill, relaxed vibe. It's not over-dressed or anything. Um, next to the kitchen, we've got the dining room with a fancy table. Um, a bar up the back here. And then in your kitchen, you've got dishwasher, fridge, oven, stovetop, and a sink. Woo, I didn't forget the sink. And I remembered a bin. So, yay me. <laughs> Um, and then, so this is one of the doors that goes into the courtyard. Ta-da! You got a bookshelf dividing the area off from the little sitting slash living room. So this is really lovely. These are snowy escape um, couches, which I really like. And then that lovely picture there, that's actually the new TV that came with one of the new packs. I don't know. I'm not that good. <laughs> <laughs> but so that's really a TV. I um and odd for ages about putting a TV there. So it's like, it's a sitting area. It'd be nice to have an area where everyone could like watch TV together. But then I was like, no, nah, cause that's a walkway in front of it. It didn't really make sense. But in the end I was like, well, this is a picture when you're not actually using it. So it's best of both worlds, which is perfect. I think when I first made this house, that TV didn't exist. So, and finally in here we have an office, which is, really useful um, and very exciting. There's a little laptop, there's a couple of seats so you can have people in and talking to you. And I mean, look at this view. Tell me this is not the place you'd love to be doing whatever work you've got to do from home. And yeah, so that's, that's the tour. Um, we'll head back out the front and we'll just do a quick overview of the whole thing. And yeah, I'm really, really excited about this house. So that's that's the general shape of it. Um, there's lots of stuff going on on the outside, a little landscaping. Um, 
And as I said, the pool and that fountain are meant to be kind of like the center or the heart of the home. So everything's built around that. And for most of the places, I mean, not not really the secondary bedrooms, but the main bedroom, you can definitely see all that from it. But all the living areas and everything, you can see the pool or the fountain from. And it's really lovely. So we'll just jump into build mode and we'll do a real quick just overhead shot of the um, layout just because witzing around like that is a little confusing sometimes, I think. So, so uh, I'm just going to move that for now. Um, so you got your entryway where we came in, and then we went this way. We've got a the little guest bathroom thing with just the shower, the plant and music bedroom, photography bedroom, the big family bath that has the um, actual bathtub, the guest bedroom over here, the main bedroom, and the main bedroom's ensuite. And then we zipped out here, which gave us the pool and the courtyard and the little secluded outdoor shower with the little relaxing area over here. And then we came back through here to the kitchen, the dining room, the little living room, sitting room, study. Oh, I totally missed. This is... um. So this room here is actually the proper guest bathroom. So it doesn't have a shower. Excuse me. Um, it just has a toilet. So if you've got guests coming, they're not really going to be going to the left side of the house unless they're staying over, but that's a different matter. So if you've got, if you're entertaining, guests can just use the bathroom that's just got the toilet in it. And yeah, I totally, totally missed that door on the way out, but it's identical to this, except the toilet's in the corner and there's no shower, like I said. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the Solani hideaway and I'm, I love it so much. It's so lovely. Um, oh, we're not in live mode, we're in build mode. But yeah, thank you for joining me again. If you have any comments or suggestions or ideas for future builds, I think on my last one, I got a comment suggesting a um, Queenslander type house, which I am working on. It just took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to, to actually get it ready. But if you have any suggestions or anything like that, pop them in the comments down below. Um, and if not, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me. And I just remembered my controller actually died, so I need to get back into that. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you.